on the premiere of your Spartan Report. It's a new year, new season, and new team for the Michigan State Spartans. We'll take a look at the progress they've made in the offseason. We'll also take a look at a quarterback controversy brewing in East Lansing. Mark D'Antonio has called it a four-horse race, but who's going to get the starting nod from the coach? All's well on the other side of the football. The Spartans' elite defense looks to be among the nation's best. We'll look at them and much more here on your Spartan Report. Hello and welcome to your Spartan Report. My name is Dennis Zurbano, a fellow Spartan alum myself. This is the premiere episode of the show and I couldn't be more excited to bring you highlights and analysis throughout the upcoming football season. Each week, I'll break down the Spartans' previous game as well as provide a look ahead to the next opponent. Also, I want to hear what you, the fans, have to say. Each week, I'll be discussing your tweets and comments on the show. So, let's get to it. It's been a busy offseason for the MSU Spartans, with much of the attention centered around the MSU quarterbacks. Andrew Maxwell earned his starting job last year, but his offensive output was less than impressive. When backup quarterback Connor Cook was given the opportunity in the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl, the sophomore impressed many in Spartan Nation. So, it leads to the question, who starts in 2013? Mark D'Antonio provided this answer at yesterday's press conference. Uh, so Andrew Maxwell will be our starter. I think what he does is he brings consistency in terms of his knowledge of, the, of our offense. Got to make good decisions. He's got experience with 13 games last year. He's got a chance to get back into the arena, put his foot down, plant, as I always say, plant and drive forward. So it seems Coach D'Antonio will be going with experience and consistency in choosing Andrew Maxwell. Though it should be noted that Connor Cook will also be seeing playing time on Friday night. The rest of the offense is littered with question marks, with the departures of running back Le'Veon Bell, tight end Deion Sims, and offensive coordinator Dan Rouchard the Spartans offense is coming into 2013 with a new look. Junior Jamie Langford will be starting at running back, beating out redshirt freshman Riley Bullock for the spot. Mark D'Antonio is also looking for more consistent play from his wide receiver core. The Spartan wideouts were plagued with drop passitis in 2012, but have been working to improve that. Those guys have a, a year under their belt. They've been impressive coach catching the ball throughout the summer camp. and. Um... That's why we play the game. MSU needs to step up on offense if they hope to improve on last year's 7-6 record. On the other side of the ball, the MSU defense looks strong. They are led by preseason All-Big Ten seniors, linebacker Max Bulla and cornerback Darquez Denard. Even with the early departure of William Golston, de defensive coordinator Pat Narduzzi's unit looks to be the best in the Big Ten. The MSU defense will also have to be elite to help an offense that is still developing. And so, does MSU Spartans start the 2013 season just outside the top 25? But a very manageable non-conference schedule could have the Spartans climbing the poles in just a few short weeks. First up on that slate is Western Michigan. So let's take a look at the Broncos. But unlike Drake, we're going to start at the top. And for Western, that means starting with their new head coach. After finishing 4-8 in 2012, the Broncos fired former head coach Bill Cubitt and hired P.J. Fleck. At the age of 32, he is the youngest head coach in the bowl subdivision. Fleck seemingly injected energy into the struggling program and feels confident going into this season. I love the underdog role. I like to going out every single day and proving yourself to yourself. Not anybody else, but the guy next to you and yourself. Fleck hopes to be rowing that Bronco boat to more success in 2013. But for that success to happen, Fleck has to resolve the biggest issue from Western's 2012 campaign. The Broncos averaged 2.6 turnovers per game last year. That was the, among the worst in the bowl subdivision. The quarterback core of Buck Tyler Van Tubergen and Alex Carter threw for a combined 21 interceptions last year. Hopefully, a new coaching staff and new offense can iron out those kinks on the Broncos offense. And if the turnover problems weren't enough, 
Several key players won't be playing for the Broncos this season. Standout wide receiver Jamie Wilson was set to be a key component of Western's offense, but that all ended when Wilson broke his ankle during a practice on August 12th. The MAC Freshman of the Year in 2012 will be out for at least six more weeks. Also out for the Broncos is former feature back Tevin Drake. He was arrested in Florida earlier this summer on domestic battery charges. Western has suspended him indefinitely. So that brings us to prediction time. Each week I'll be giving my prediction on the upcoming game. For week one, I don't think this one will be close. I have MSU winning 34 to 10. The key for the Broncos is holding on to that football, but with their turnover prone offense going against the elite Spartan defense in East Lansing, it's just a recipe for disaster. And while MSU might still have some questions on the offensive side of the ball, the Spartan O-line should have enough to create time for Andrew Maxwell and room for Jeremy Langford. So that's my prediction. I want to hear yours. You can follow us on Twitter, at Spartan Report, and share your predictions there, or put them in the comment section below. Also, I want to hear your questions. I'll try to field at least one question or comment in the upcoming episode. So get those in on Twitter using the handle at Spartan Report or in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the first edition of your Spartan Report. My name is Dennis Zurbano and I'll see you next week. And go green!